Hi, everybody. Tom Wilms here for the New Jersey Titans, and it's been a pretty exciting week for our NAHL team as we had the entry draft for the 2021 season. A lot of uh, great players being picked up all throughout the league, but in the next few minutes, we're going to showcase the New Jersey Titans selections. So we'll have some interviews and we'll have some highlights as well. So enjoy. Hi, everybody. I'm joined by New Jersey Titans draft pick Hunter Newhouse out of Minnetonka, Minnesota. Hunter, thanks so much for joining me. Oh, thank you. Well, you're out of Minnetonka High School. Now, here in New Jersey, high school hockey is pretty competitive. They get to go to the Prudential Center where the Devils play for the uh, state championship. But in Minnesota, high school hockey is – it's a religion. I mean, it really is absolutely crazy. And before the Wild came around, it was the biggest – even bigger than the Gophers. It was the, just the biggest hockey you can get. So give me an idea of uh, your experiences. Again, I know COVID kind of ruined some of that, but uh, give me an idea of some of your experience playing Minnesota high school hockey. Yeah, it was definitely a great experience. Um, getting to play like as a sophomore even was probably one of the coolest experiences, just being like one of the younger guys, joined playing with guys who are two years older than me, kind of look I looked up to when I was – not even in high school yet, so that was cool. And I guess just playing in front of like your whole school is pretty cool. Like being from Minnetonka, it's one of the bigger schools in Minnesota. I think we have like over 4,000 students at our school. So it's like, it's kind of a rush playing in front of all of them. So it's pretty cool. Well, this past year, 13 goals, 13 assists, 18 games. Uh, so give me an idea of what you feel that you're gonna bring to the New Jersey Titans this year. Um, I think my game's more of playmaking, uh, like to distribute the puck, but can also score when I need to. So I think just bringing a skill factor to the team and a lot of energy and lot, like to move the puck. So, yeah. Now, is there any NHL or current past or what have you that you kind of model your game after or you've been told that your game is like? Um. Kind of like maybe like Johnny Gaudreau, like not a huge guy, but kind of work through that and not get hit as much and make plays. So well, that would definitely fit in in New Jersey. Johnny Gaudreau is a New Jersey native, so we're certainly yeah. uh, familiar with him. Um, just taking a look forward towards uh, what you're looking forward to in the, the next couple of weeks heading out towards camp. What are you looking to uh, impress upon with the uh, coaching staff for New Jersey? Um, I guess just show my game and meet the coaches. I don't know if how much they've got to see me play or whatnot, but it's going to be nice to just kind of show them what I can do. And I guess just even see the city of Jersey. I've never been out there. I haven't really ever been over to the East Coast. So it should be a good experience. Well, again, we're looking forward to having you out here in New Jersey in the next couple of weeks and throughout the year. Uh, Hunter Newhouse, thanks so much for taking the time and joining us. Yeah, thank you. Great play to break up the pass across. But he'll sit. Here's Hunter Newhouse walking in. Aside to goal. Power play goal for Newhouse. Newhouse will take the face off against Aaron Bangs. Controlled by Minnetonka. Shot by Kiffin. He scores by Johnson. Sent back into the neutral zone for Newhouse. He's one on one into the Minnetonka offensive zone. Short handed goes cross ice. And a short handed goal for Graham. There by Zinsky. That's who's coming. They're going to have a hook on Newhouse. He's got Harris in front. Feeds it over back. Oh! 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 Newhouse will work his way from around the rink. Oh, nice feed in front to Hanna. Shot on goal. Stopped by Block. Another rebound. Two shots. They score! Hi, everybody. I'm here with Titans draft pick Josh Rosenzweig, uh, goaltender out of Toronto. Josh, thanks so much for taking the time and joining me, man. Thank you. Glad to be here. Um, so a couple of years ago, 1920 season, you had a couple of games with the Niagara Ice Dogs of the OHL. So after getting four games into that, you know, playing four games for them last year, I guess everything got wiped up uh, north, uh, well, wiped out north of the border. 
you've got to be ready to go. No matter where you end up playing, whether it be the Titans or anywhere else, you probably didn't even care. You wanted to get out and play. I'm sure you're pretty excited to get going. Yeah, for sure. You know, the last year and a half, not being able to play hockey, it's kind of sucks, but <laughs> I've, been and, uh, I've been hungry to get back out there. Now, during the, well, what we'll call an incredibly long off season, what were you able to do? Were you able to play any competitive hockey up there or was it just practices? What, give me an idea of what it's been like. Uh, well, north of the border, everything, like you said, have been, it's been shut down. Uh, I've been on the ice as much as I could, um, just practicing uh, with my goalie coach and then just working hard in the gym every, every day. Uh, that certainly means that, uh, again, when you hit the ice, it's going to be, uh, you're going to be, <laughs> I'm sure, very much ready to go. So now, again, being up in Toronto, what do you know about the New Jersey Titans and the North American Hockey League? Do you have a lot of knowledge about the league? Uh, in the last little bit, you know, I've, I've talked to Kyle and Craig over there, and the North American Hockey League is, is a good league. It's, it's really good for development, and I feel like, it'll be a great, great place for me to continue my career and just develop and get better. Well, again, that's part of the idea with the uh, North American Hockey League is try to get guys to the next, that next level. And uh, again, you're going to see it next week with the NHL draft. There's going to be a number of guys uh, from the NHL, maybe not directly, but certainly getting picked up from NHL into NCAA. Is that something that when you got drafted, you, you looked at and go, oh, maybe there's a chance I can uh, take this to a really good next level? Yeah, for sure. I was very excited uh, at the opportunity. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's been great. And I, I, could, I could certainly yeah. understand that. I mean, it's got to be kind of a weird thing to get drafted. I mean, everyone thinks the NHL is the only, the, or the, North, the National Hockey League, rather, is the only league that drafts players. But these other leagues, they draft. And being at your age, young, and getting that phone call saying, oh, wait, they chose me. Do you have any idea that... Uh, you're being you're being scouted at this level. Uh, in the null. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. I, I hear there's so many scouts, and it's it's a great way to showcase, uh, you know, myself and you know get my get my name out there. So again, obviously, you know, in goal, it's a very specialized position. Who's a, an NHLer that we would know that you kind of have been told, or you feel like you model your game after? Oh, um, How are you that unique? <laughs> well, my favorite goalie and a, game, a guy I model my game after, uh, Jonathan Quick of the LA King. Yeah. I yeah. just love his athleticism. As a, as a New Jersey Devils fan, he's broken my heart, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, but a heck of a goalie to kind of model yourself after. So um, looking forward to uh, the season, I'm sure. And uh, again, thanks so much for taking the time, Josh. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Miami any saucers one coming down great save made over Patizian breaking in shorthanded Patizian great save made by break for Damiani he shoots nice blocker save made by a Rosenzweig Chenier on the right for Brandon Co. Chenier takes a look a pass to Moncada stop the rebound stopped by Rosenwig four saves in a row by the young Bliss ahead for Jackson Baraldo is back Quick shot is stopped by Rosenwig. There, Avon chops it past Brondon in the slot, drops it back. Quick shot stopped by Rosenzweig, and he calmly knocks the rebound away. Down low it goes. Oh, what a save by Rosenzweig. He just robbed Avon. Back it goes to the line for Paquette. There's a shot. Another big save by Rosenzweig. Hi, everybody. I'm with the one of the newest of New Jersey Titans draft picks, Shane Stoitziaitis. Shane, thanks so much for taking the time. Oh, of course. Thank you for having me. Um, so you were the fourth pick for the Titans out of uh, just north of Detroit, Michigan. Congratulations. How does, how does it feel to be a NHL draft pick? Honestly, I couldn't be more excited. Uh, I've been waiting and working for the past years, you know, and uh, when I got the call from coach right before, Right before the pick, I just about lost my mind. I was so excited. I was at work. I was uh, holding back, like, you know, like yelling out loud, but couldn't be more excited. Well, uh, being up in, uh, up in Michigan, uh, what do you know about the North American Hockey League and more specifically the New Jersey Titans? 
Um, I mean, the Titans specifically, you know, I did a little bit of research and from everything I've heard, uh, they always have a solid team, always pretty good. Um, my buddy, my teammate last year, Blake Farrell is tendered there. And he said that it's unbelievable out there. Everyone, all the players coached are great. So that's, pr- I haven't heard anything negative at all. So couldn't be more excited. Now, you've risen through the ranks of AAA hockey throughout Michigan, Oakland Grizzlies, Victory Honda, and then this past season with Beltire. Second yeah. straight 20 goal season. This year, 26 assists, 46 points, and a plus 30 as well. So it really looks like, at least looking at the numbers, you have yourself a goal line to goal line kind of game. Is that something that you would characterize yourself as? Just like being able to play anywhere on the ice? Um. I, I don't like being like talking about myself, but I think I play a 200 foot game for sure. I mean, coming down to this last season, especially uh, later on, we have few def- defense me to get cut or leave the team. So we are down to three or four D a lot of injuries. So our coaches have a few guys, including myself, move back and uh, play some defense a few games. And I ended up playing eight to 10 games back there. And, um, I feel I play pretty solid. My coach has said that they love me back there too. I mean, you know, just for help. Obviously, I'm a offenseman, but I feel like I can play either end of the ice for sure. Now, at 6'3", 185, this is the listing that I got a couple years yep. ago. Put up some pretty hefty penalty minutes, but this past season, you kind of toned it down a little bit. But yeah. is that a big part of your game, having some snarl, some toughness, but, of course, adding some discipline? Definitely. So... I'm definitely all about throwing the body, you know, if there comes a time where there needs to be a scrap, then I'm definitely down for it. But, you know, that's not my specific game. Like, I'm not out there just to, you know, go hurt people. I'm out there to play hockey. But when the time comes, I'm there for it. And, uh, you know, that season two years ago where I had a large amount of penalty minutes, (laughs) uh, that was kind of my coach just – he kind of viewed me as only that kind of player. So he would just send me out to do that stuff. And also that was the year when, you know, Maha incorporated the, you can't like finish your hits. And I would get a bunch of minutes off just finishing hits after someone passed a puck. So after that season, you know, the coach at Belletire, when they were recruiting me, they told, I knew coach Dickinson for years. And he told me, you know, Shane, we know how you can play hockey. We don't want you running around taken 400 minutes uh we want you to play the game so i i was more than happy to hear that because i didn't want to just be the guy to go run off and you know only play 10 minutes a game but you know if the time comes i'm definitely there for it again it certainly helps to be versatile so forward and defenseman you can score and you can play with some grit along the boards as well so that is a huge Huge part of development. Again, heading forward in your development into the North American Hockey League, again, the next kind of step is looking at college. So is that something, I mean, obviously not going to name schools at this point, it's a little early on, but certainly something, again, that's something really exciting. Again, going to the North American Hockey League, getting drafted and going, wait a second, I have a chance to, to go D1 here. Is, is that something that you're, you're certainly looking forward to? Oh, absolutely. I've been, you know, that's been my goal my entire life, just to go play D1 hockey. I mean, of course, pro and everything would be unbelievable, but one step at a time. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't be more excited and just very anxious to see, you know, where I can maybe possibly play in the future, what comes out of it. That's well, my- just looking at the numbers, again, with all you bring to the table, the fans in New Jersey are going to love your game. Shane, thanks so much for taking the time and joining me. Oh, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Can't wait to be there.
Hi, everybody. I'm with New Jersey Titans draft pick Tyler Sanborn out of Omaha, Nebraska. Tyler, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Well, you already have some junior experience this past year, six goals, eight assists, 32 games as a defenseman. So you definitely could put the puck in the net. But how would you characterize your game? I uh, definitely like to focus on defense first. As a defenseman, of course, it's always a good thing to have. But uh, stepping up in the play is always fun, too, getting points on the board. So, Yeah, so, able to have that 200-foot game is, uh, you know, is a big-time asset, you know, moving along in, into junior hockey and then hopefully into college as well. So you have some experience here in the Garden State uh, with the New Jersey Rockets. Uh, is it kind of cool knowing, hey, I'm going back to somewhat familiar surroundings when you uh, make your debut in the NHL this year? Yeah, getting that call was pretty cool. Being only about 30, 45 minutes away from there, I yeah. know pretty much what's around there, and it's a good good place to be. Uh, that's kind of a good thing. You can kind of show some of the other new guys some of the best places to eat, some of the best places to hang out when you're not uh, working hard uh, trying to make the Titans a better squad. And, again, the, the fans are somewhat gonna, going to already know you because uh, there are still some crossover as far as fan bases are concerned. Speaking of Absolutely. the NHL and the Titans, uh, what do you know about the team from this point? I know you obviously got the draft pick and got the call from uh, Coach DeRamus. So uh, give us an idea of what, uh, what how that transpired. Um, as of right now, I don't know much. Uh, I just know Coach Gary Biggs from right. the Rockets. And uh, he sent me a text, called me and said, hey, we'd like to make you a part of the team. I accepted it, of course. <laughs> so I guess you're, you're looking forward to coming out to the camp in a couple of weeks and uh, uh, see if you can impress and, uh, you know, see what you can do here with the New Jersey Titans. Again, we had a great fan base here. You're going to love it. We're, it's, it's been growing and growing over the past bunch of years. So I'm sure you'll uh, – I'm, I'm pretty confident you'll enjoy your time uh, in New Jersey. Now, talking about your game, uh, what you're going to bring to New Jersey um, – who do you kind of model your game? If there is somebody in the NHL, who do you kind of model your game after? Um, I'd have to say a little bit of Drew Doughty. I mean, he brings that physical presence, but also strong defensively and can always help on offense. So he's a good guy to look after and watch. Um, another big guy being 6'3", like me, Char is always a fun guy to watch. He's got a big, hard shot. Always fun to watch him, so. Well, Tyler Sanborn, thanks for taking the time, and uh, we'll see you in a few weeks at the main camp uh, in Middletown. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. To the far wall, Tyler Sanborn holding it in. Now moving in. Shot score. Charles. Back to Sanborn. Rinaldi. Back to Sanborn. His fat look. Here comes Shaw. Shaw to Garzal. Garzal gets. Connor comes out with it into the Colonials end. Met there. Baldy. Now Hamill. Straight away. In the middle of Battaglia. Shoots and scores. Bryce Battaglia. Rhodes back in it. Pass across. Over to Tyler Sandburn. Sanborn. Long pass. Over to. Who goes back to Kerner. Now to Sanborn. Sanborn. Toe drag. Shoots. Score. I dropped the puck and we get so many problems. There's a big shot. Score. It's a five on three power play. Go Hi, everybody. I'm joined by Titans draft pick Coleman Nee out of Arlington, Massachusetts. Coleman, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited. Well, this past year would have been your third season at River School, but you only got to play a couple of games thanks to all the fun restrictions we had. Is it a pretty safe bet that you're eager to get a full season in at the NHL level? Oh, I'm pumped, yeah. <laughs> but this year with COVID, uh, not getting to play many games, it was a little frustrating, but looking forward to, uh, since everything's reopening, get back on the ice full-time, full season. Now, what were you able to do in lieu of games to kind of keep yourself in shape, mostly off-ice stuff, or were you able to get on the ice at least uh, do some skating? Yeah, I was able to play with my uh, half-season team a good amount, the Little Bruins. Uh, we had a lot of boarding school players, so we were able to stay on the ice because they didn't get to go back to school. And then also for Rivers, we were still on the ice practice and every day we just weren't able to get as many games, like a 30 game season. And so we we're a little shy of, shy of 10. Now, in uh, 1920, six goals, 10 assists between Little Bruins and uh, River School. What is something that you feel that you're gonna offer to the Titans this year? 
yeah, I like to consider myself a strong two-way uh, forward that takes pride at both ends of the ice. Um, I think skating and my speed is one of my def or both my uh, biggest attributes as a player, and I really feel that those can be uh, strong contributions to the Titans this year, and I really hope to help them out, get some wins, and win a championship. Now, um, what is an NHL or either past or present that you've been told, hey, you kind of remind me of him, or maybe somebody that you model your game after? Yeah, I really like to watch uh, Forsberg, uh, or YouTube highlights, obviously he's not playing anymore, but with Colorado Avalanche, um, I think he plays a really strong physical game, and obviously his uh, offensive abilities are really strong. Um, but I really like the way he plays off the puck. He gets in people's heads, and uh, I think he's a really good player to try and emulate. Yeah, it seems like the Titans have uh, been able to add some size and some grit and uh, some 200-foot game uh, with a lot of the draft picks. Is that something that when you look at the entire draft board and all the other players that are going to join you at the Titans, is that, is that something that kind of excites you? Yeah, it looks like there's a really good group of uh, players and excited to meet everybody at main camp. Well, we're looking forward to having you in a couple of weeks out in Middletown. Uh, Coleman Nee, congratulations, and uh, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks. Appreciate it. He's able to get it up to center ice, and a good hit here by uh, Canavan, number 23. A shot to score. Not sure how that one went in. situation for St. Sebastian's as there were two or three uh, Rivers players and a shot to score by Coleman Knee ties it up to go for Rivers on uh, Michael Cho uh, Matthew Choi Hi, everybody. I'm joined by New Jersey Titans draft pick Tristan Maestas. And uh, Tristan, thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you for having me. Well, you've got some junior experience. Uh, El Paso with the NA3HL Rhinos. Uh, again, they're coming up with an NAHL team, but you're going to be with the New Jersey Titans this year. But a good year last year. Um, go 14 goals, 33 points. Now, you made the transition going 18U to the NA3. Give me an idea of what that transition was like. Yeah, it was definitely different um, going from 18s to juniors. Uh, definitely a lot faster and bigger. Um, the speed of the game is a lot uh, quicker. Um, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. It was definitely hard at first to kind of get used to, um, especially like traveling on bus and stuff all the time. Uh, but I really liked it. It was a lot of fun. Now, now you're making that next jump to the NA3, to the NHL, and uh, I'm sure you're assuming or at least uh, thinking that's going to be a little bit of the same, a little bit faster, a little bit bigger. And uh, the good thing about it is the NAHL, again, along with the NA3, but the NAHL really gives you an opportunity for Division I um, possibilities in the NCAA. Is that something that uh, motivates you? Yeah, yeah, definitely for sure. Um, I know it's, it's going to be tough, a lot harder uh, this year with everything. Um, like you said, a lot bigger, a lot faster. But, yeah, for sure, I definitely am looking to try um, play collegiate hockey somewhere. Um, whether it's D1 or D3, you know, whatever happens, happens. But that's definitely a goal of mine. Now, obviously, one of those goals of the NHL is to get guys to college. But, uh, again, what kind of game do you bring to the table as far when well, Maybe give me an NA, NHLer who you've been told, you know, this is, you know, you want, you want, kind of remind us of this, guys. Give me, is there an NHL that, uh, that kind of Titans fans will look uh... at? I'm not sure. Um, well, who do you try to model your game after? Who do I try to model? Um, it'd probably be, one that comes to mind for me would be Matthew Kachuk of Calgary, um, just because he's, he's one of those players that, you know, he's very offensive and does the right things, but he's also one of those players that kind of gets on the other team's skin. Um, I'm, I'm not the biggest player. Um, I've never been, like, the most gritty, but I try to be as best as I can. Um, but I definitely would try to model my game after him. I love watching him play. Um, and he's, you know, a really good player in the NHL. 
Now, when you got the call as uh, when you were selected uh, for the uh, Titans in the draft, uh, give me an idea of uh, the feelings involved with that. Again, it's probably the first time you've ever been drafted to a league. Kind of a uh, kind of an exciting thought, I would think. Yeah, it was actually kind of weird. I was um, on the ice skating, and I I didn't know. I got off the ice, and my dad was there, and he told me. And then I went into the locker room to get undressed, and I looked at my phone, and then. Uh, I saw like Gary Biggs from there had called me um, and a bunch of people had texted me. It was really, it was kind of surreal. I didn't really, I wasn't expecting it at all either. So it was kind of a nice surprise, um, but it was very cool. And, you know, I'm very excited um, to get things started. But um, yeah, it was kind of a weird experience. Well, certainly looking forward to have you out of the main camp in a couple of weeks. And uh, again, Tristan, thanks so much for uh, joining us uh, and uh, taking the time out of your schedule. Yeah, thank you. I'm excited to get up there and see how it goes. Well, there you have it, a nice little look inside of the New Jersey Titans draft fix for the 2021 season coming up in just a few weeks. We'll have the main camp. That'll be at the Middletown Sports Complex from July 26th to the 29th. The Camp All-Star Game will be on the 29th at noon, and that is open to the public. So come on out and check out a little midsummer New Jersey Titans action. Speaking of New Jersey Titans action, coming up, uh, we'll have the season opener in September. That's September 10th, as we get ready to go against the Maryland Black Bears, and then the home opener also against Maryland will be on October 1st. Make sure you get your tickets from njtitansnehl.com. We'll start releasing all that stuff, the single game tickets, also with season tickets as well. And also make sure you check out Middletown Sports Complex's website. That's middletownsc.com. I want to take the time to thank all the players who were able to join us for this uh, little recap of the draft. And also big time thanks to Kyle Shapiro, one of the assistant coaches for the New Jersey Titans, who really did a great job in helping facilitate facilitate all of those interviews. So again, thanks for joining us. My name is Tom Wilms, and we'll see you real soon.